Welcome back. This is gonna be my unbagging of Ipsy for the month of July. I saw this in the mailbox this morning. My son brought it in. I had to go, but I thought to myself, as soon as I'm back, it doesn't matter how I look, I will do this unbagging because I just can't wait. This is the time of the month that I really um kind of waiting for my Ipsy to arrive, waiting for my Sephora or Play by Sephora to arrive. So it's I don't know, I always get so excited around this time of the month, just waiting to see what products I get. If you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a monthly subscription service where you pay $10 a month, they will take it out of your checking account or your credit card on the first and you will get the products between the 10 and the 20 something, they say around the 15, but in my experience, sometimes gets early, sometimes gets later, it kind of depends. And I don't know, I really love this subscription. If you wanna see all the products that I got throughout 2016 and 2015, I will have two different playlists in case you wanna check those out. Recently, I mean, at the beginning of the year, I decided that I was going to start doing makeup tutorials only with the products that I get in this subscription service because I feel like we get excited with the products, but then we don't use them enough. So I thought that it might be a good idea for me to use them a little bit more and at the same time share with you different combinations and looks that I'm enjoying. So if you missed that playlist, I'll also link it up here. Go check it out. So the theme of the month is Hot Summer Nights and this is the card right here i started to follow her recently i found her through the ipsy channel she has quite a few videos there and i really love her style so recently i subscribed to her channel i can't remember the name top of my head but i'll link her in the description box down below if you want to go check her out this is the bag right here it's very i don't know holographic kind of pretty to look at in different lights but it's not my favorite bag from Ipsy. As far as the products, I got five. The first one is a brush and it's by Luxy and it's called the Luxy 215 Small Angle Brush. You can use this. I'm pretty sure that you can use this for your eyebrows or for the eyeliner. It's stiff enough that you can do your eyeliner, but it does have a little bit of a bend to create a wing. So I'm assuming that you can use this for both purposes. Now, I received other Luxy brushes through out this couple of years that I've been subscribed to Ipsy. I discovered Luxie through them and I've been ordering brushes from Luxie for a while now because I do really enjoy. It's just a really nice brand so I'm happy that they sent me this one. I didn't have this specific brush. The next product is by Thrive Cosmetics, like Cos, not cosmetics, and it's called the Infinity Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the color Lauren and it's a retractable black eyeliner. Recently I noticed that I'm running low on black eyeliner so I'm really happy that they sent this one. This is a retractable one. It does come in this really nice um, kind of green packaging and it does have that retractable tip. It's really creamy, it's really pigmented and dark and on the other side it has a smudger and if you pull it up you will see like a little pencil sharpener so you can keep the point really nice and pointy so it will be it will give you more of a detail and it will be easier to use. Now retractable eyeliners for me are kind of hard. If you watch my last tutorial using Ipsy products I used my ColourPop one that I got last month in my Ipsy and I felt like it wasn't pigmented enough it kind of changed the color according to the different eyeshadows I had on my lids and that day I used a green one so it looked green. We're going to try and see how this one works compared to the ColourPop one and also because I was running low on black eyeliners last month I got the ColourPop one this month I got this one I'm really excited about it. The next product is a skincare one this is a palmetto rejuvenating antioxidant mask this is supposed to brighten and soften the skin it says that it's cruelty free it does have bunny logo right here so I don't know but I recently I started to use all the skincare in the same month so if I receive something from Ipsy I will put it in a special drawer and I use it until I'm completely done with them because I've noticed since I started to follow them in their Ipsy channel uh, I realized that they have a lot of sales on the products that, that they send you in different bags so if I like this mask enough you know I use it from start to finish and I like it 
then I can get it with a 20% off, 30% off, sometimes even almost 50% off if you order through Ipsy for the month. So for that reason, I'm trying to use a little bit more the products that I get in my Ipsy. So if it's something amazing that I can't live without, I can order it that same month for a really discounted price. The next product is by Skin Iceland. This is the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion with Icelandic Kelp. I haven't tried a product from uh, this brand that I liked this far. I think I tried a couple of products from this brand and nothing impressed me. But, um, you know, it's summertime. This is supposed to be a really lightweight moisturizer. So I will try it, give it a go and see how it works with my skin. Not too excited just because I've tried a couple of products from this brand and they haven't worked for me, but maybe this one will. The next one is the Mid Matrimony Eyeshadow and this is in the color Matte Kumar. If you watch uh, my last Ipsy tutorial, I mentioned that I needed more matte eyeshadows, that Ipsy needed to start sending me more matte eyeshadows because I had to incorporate um, the Lorac Pocket um, little trio because I didn't have enough matte eyeshadows to make, you know, to create the entire look. Now, I got this one and this is one of the colors that in the entire palette, Mid Matrimony, I think that this is the one that I like the most. It's very kind of reddish brick color. I love this. You, I mean, you will see a tutorial using this for next month Ipsy makeup tutorial. So anyways, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm excited. I do like it. I feel like three makeup products, you know, including the brush and a couple of skincare, it was a really nice ratio. So this month was really good for me. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.